I'm not going to take too much of y'all time, but I'm going to talk to y'all about a few important things. The first thing is something called obedience. Y'all know, know what that means? Obedience is very important for any aspect of your life. No matter if that's in school, if that's at home, or if that's on the field. Let's talk about the field first. If y'all do not listen to y'all coaches, y'all not obedient and disciplined, y'all can get hurt. Everything that y'all coaches are about to bring y'all through on that field portion is so important because they're training y'all minds and y'all bodies and y'all skill set to be able to execute a game plan. Now what happens if there's someone out there, because I know you look like some hard hitters in here. You look like a, a, a hard hitter over there. But if you see a kid just jogging around the field, not knowing what they're doing, what could possibly happen if you know what you're doing? Yeah, they can get hurt. So it's so important that y'all be obedient to y'all coaches. But y'all foundation starts at home. When your parents tell you to do something, do it. Y'all might not understand the importance of it, but you will understand when you get older. Because mark my words, y'all be saying the same things to y'all kids one day. But it starts, it starts at home, obedience. Listen to what your mom and father says. If there's any one of y'all out here that got dreams of, of playing college football, because it can happen. Y'all might be sitting beside someone that you be playing college football with. But again, it starts with obedience. Because a lot of the college coaches, the high school coaches, the middle school coaches, because y'all might come up through Little League, playing with the Hornets, and it might be middle school coaches wanting to talk to your youth coach. Coach, what kind of player is it? What are your coaches going to say about you? What are they going to say? He doesn't listen. I coach high school football. I don't care how good you are. If you don't listen, I don't need you. Football is a team sport. You got 11 players out there on that field. If you got one person, you got 10 players doing what they're doing and one person that don't, that loses ball games. And again, it goes back to obedience. So y'all got to decide what y'all foundation right now. Because I can tell you, this is the second thing I'm going to tell you. When I was growing up, we didn't have this. We didn't have men pouring back into the community of all shades, all colors. Look at the room. It's a good mixture of, of kids, good mixture of mentors. It's not no one that is mentoring y'all that, that can't relate to something y'all don't. So appreciate this. These life skills, camp that y'all doing, this is really unheard of. Be appreciative. Tell your parents when they pick you up today, thank you. Because even though this room is packed, there's a lot of kids out there that's not here. I'm playing just one. It's just one play. It wasn't even me running football. It was just in practice. I ran through a hole. You know, you, when you're in practice, you're coach watching you. Trust me, you got a million eyes watching you. Not just your coach. Your parents are watching you. I used to be the practice a lot of the games where I didn't even know it was college coaches and they dress like a, a normal football fan. They dress up that you always got to go hard when you play when you think you can quit, don't show your effort, anything like that, you can have to go hard, but back to my story. Um, day 30, I got my first off from the Ole Miss, came my freshman year. Um, I shared time with a senior, I did beat him out, but shared a little time with a senior running back, rushing about a thousand yards of varsity. Um, I actually used to be committed to Mississippi State my freshman year, committed. Be committed and just came through high school just doing my just working my hardest, always getting good grades. I had a 3.7 GPA, 3.7, always doing my hard work, and I ended up with 45 division one offers. Just just doing everything I do. You know, you gotta listen to your coach, listen to your parents, listen to your teachers. You know, adults know more than we know. They always do trust me. I used to be a little hard headed kid, think I know everything. But if you don't listen to your elders and your uh, Those of your life, you trust me, you won't make it far. But came in, had a good season. Uh, won, won state championship this ring right here, my sophomore year. Led the country in rushing, about 2,500 yards. I was the offensive player of the year for Max Grabs. Then next year, junior year, won this state championship ring two times. It was 2,300 yards rushing, about 100. 
free in the country in Russia. It's like, you know, I just work hard every day of my life. Like Mo said, over the summer, every day, me and Mo. We woke up about 12, went to go work out. You know, we had fun, went to go work out. Went to go work out. Because trust me, you are sitting around slacking, watching TV, and somebody out there, out there working for what you can get. I got millions of college letters, just a ton of them. I can fill up my whole living room with them and just sit there and lay them. But it, trust me, it wouldn't have been there. Even when I, even at my state right now, I got to be working. I'm number eight in the country for my position, but there's people that's trying to jump over me. I'm only number eight, I'm trying to go for number one. You got to keep working, keep working, keep working. Keep your classroom first, please keep your grades first. That's the first and foremost. You cannot get anywhere about your education. Because football did not last forever. I done had heart surgery. I done broke my ankle. I done thought my career was over. But trust me, it ends one day. Y'all gotta come up with these. Please, whatever you do, get your education, get your high school diploma, get your college, get your college degree, be masters or if you don't, know, get your bachelor's degree, do whatever you need. Please keep your education first. Listen to your parents. You can always work hard. Do not slack. Not that you know everything. No. School, you know, make sure you do your schoolwork, you know, study. You know, I'm not the brightest student, you know, I get A's and B's, you know, I go ask my teachers for help, you know, I'm not one of those brandy ass. Some of y'all might be, some of y'all might not. I mean, some people got it, some people don't. But you know, you gotta be that educated and just work the extra mile to get what you want. You know, I got a 3.5 GPA, um, you know, SAT, you know, I struggle with that a little bit, you know, but uh, anyway, I'm getting that down back, I'll take that a few more times. Um, you know, just, you know, being blessed, you know, the man upstairs, you know, you can't do nothing without God, you know. God, that's the most important thing, you know, blessed, you know, to have 18, 19, D1 scholarships, you know, to go play at the next level. You know, here's some of my letters and stuff over here and the four boxes right there that I brought to, to show y'all. But, uh, you know, yeah, and, um, but yeah, just back to, um, you know, the goals, you know, back to, you know, I want to achieve the NFL, and my next goal is to come in as, you know, wherever the school I pick, you know, I should be making a choice sometime here soon, sometime, make a choice sometime in August, but, you know, we try to come in, you know, start over again, you know, come in as the little guy, you know, a freshman, you know, we're going to have all these seniors and juniors, you know, that play in the playing area, you know, talking junk, you know, just like it was coming in high school, but, you know, it's going to be a different story, you know, each level gets tougher and tougher. So you gotta put in that work to be the best that you can be at uh, what you're doing. So you know you gonna have people gunning for you, you gonna have people all across the country coming to that one school. Cause you know high school, yeah, I'm probably the man, but when I step foot on that campus, about the whole team, everybody's a man at their high school. So you know you gotta do something to make you different. You know, it's just stand out. You know, you know, put in the work and everything. And uh, you know, so one of my other goals that I'm working to achieve now that I haven't achieved yet. Is you know come in as a freshman in college football and not to be red shirted and you know hopefully y'all can turn on the TV and watch me playing one Saturday. You know saying that I know that guy that guy came and talked to me. You know that so you know it's one of my goals and stuff like that. You know another thing you guys uh, listen to your parents. You know you wouldn't be here but for them. You know listen to your parents. You know they know what they're talking about. You know they got the best interest in hand. That um, that man right there standing right there with that camera. You know, I grew up for him, I probably wouldn't need to be standing right here talking to y'all right now. I'd probably be on the street somewhere, you know, on the streets doing something I don't have no business for. So, you know, I've been blessed with the father figure that he has, you know, 